What's good, YouTube? Man, I'm back with another video. Today, I just want to show y'all, tell y'all, you know, um, for people that are upgrading or people that are going from OS to AB, what to look forward to. You know what I'm saying? Um, what to expect. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Different. It's, it's very different. Uh, you know, things that you need to know, things that you should expect coming out here to these ships as an able body seaman. So, before we get deep into the video, I'm gonna give y'all snippets of what my day look like today. You know, I'm gonna give you a little background. Today we're at Anchorage, right outside of Houston. It's pretty foggy, um, so we've been stuck here. Um, so today they got us cleaning up inside. So I'm gonna give you a couple snippets and then later on today I'll come back and give you some advice, my advice, um, things you should know coming at AB. So now we're going to the GoPro. Now. different scenery got the dog here and I'll explain the scenery later while I'm at home but back to the video uh, okay OS to AB here going crazy big thing I think people should be mindful of is your responsibility now your responsibility shifts quite a bit you know um, as OS you're just a day worker you know you just do what you're told blah 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 more so in the A, B aspect of things, you have rounds you, you know, you're responsible for. You know, something happens on your round that's on you. Um, you have watches, you have watches that, hold on, let me rephrase that. On your watch, you have rounds, which, you know, are very important. You know, some people brush them off, but, you know, something happens on your watch and you were supposed to do the round. You know what I'm saying? You get, you get where I'm going with that. And also, um, just things that you need to know, um, unlike for your schools and shit like that, where, you know, you take trig and then you never use it for the rest of your life. And the Merchant Marines, when they teach you something, your ass is going to use it. You know what I'm saying? You need to know how to steer pretty well uh, going in and out of ports. Uh, definitely want to get comfortable with that. So if you're still an OS and you're watching this, if you can get in the groove of 
practicing steering now. So when you become a B, you're like a master helmsman or not a master helmsman, but you're pretty good at the helm. That is OS, man. You want to learn as much as possible um, from the ABs about, you know, from the older people, the people that have been doing it a while. Now, sometimes they give shit information. That's just with any job. You got your old heads, they're going to tell you how to do it the wrong way. And then when you get on the ship and they actually do it the right way, you don't know how to do it because you're so used to doing it this way. And then you have some guys that just really know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? But as you, you know, throughout your career, you will be able to decipher the two really quickly and really fast. Yeah. And then um, also, um, I would advise that somebody teaches you the ratios on how to mix paint. It's not like a big need because usually the bosun does it, but it's something good to know. You know what I'm saying? Some ships, they let the ABs mix the paint. But if you've never done it as an OS and they don't teach you in school, you know what I'm saying? You don't know how to do it. So most definitely that. So also you want to learn your crane signals. Um, you should already know them, but if for some reason you don't, you definitely want to because you will be giving crane signals to either another AB or the bosun. Or you might be the person in the crane looking at somebody giving you crane signals. So you definitely need to know that. The biggest difference that I noticed, and it hit me quick, and it hit me fast, your sleep schedule. As an OS, you're usually a day man. So when I say day man, you work during the day, uh, eight to 12, 12 to, five let's just say you know hypothetically as an ab you could work you you might be working at weird odd times um on my last ship i was working the midnight to four and the noon to four of course and for a person that doesn't sleep during the day you know what i'm saying it's hard because between four o'clock when you get off and 11 45 because you got to be at work 15 minutes early and 11 45 it's hard to get you know good rest if you're not used to sleeping during the day or during those hours you know what i'm saying and then you have to wake up at 12 you have to wake up at 11 45 go i had to go to watch at 11 45 i got off at 3 45 and then i have to hurry up and go to sleep try to get some sleep and then if you're a person that does overtime because you're out there for the money most of your bulk of money will come from your overtime or your penalty so you know then you have to wake up from 3 45 in the morning be at overtime at 7 45 work from 7 45 until 3 45 in the afternoon so yeah the sleep is definitely something you got to get used to and it's you know some watches are harder than others. You know, most people don't like the eight to 12 because of, for that very reason, you, you hardly get a good, good rest. So I would advise that you get like some sleeping pills or they have sleeping gummies. It helps you go to sleep quick. Nobody really gave me that advice. So I'm giving you that advice here in this video. Also as an AB, they just expect you to know more. You know what I'm saying? Especially your first time. So, as an OS, you definitely should try to learn as much as possible. Because when you become AP, it's not like an OS. You know, OS, you're more, you're more new to things. You know what I'm saying? You ask a question, they don't look at you like, oh, you know, that's a dumb question. You're OS, you're, you're the entry-level guy. But when you become AP, they expect you to just know things. They expect you to know how to put on a fire plan your fire mask they expect you to know what the station build is where it's located um they expect you to know what to get the you know what i'm saying nobody tells you that but on the ship you just know you get to that level um they expect you to know how to steer a lot of ap's that i work with aren't comfortable steering in and out of port you know what i'm saying because they haven't gotten enough help to, they practice that school on an actual ship so they're not comfortable but these captains and these mates expect you to know that you know and the mates already look at you a certain type of way because you didn't go to an academy so just be mindful of those type of things you know thing that i noticed that most 
Mm, most ABs have that OSs don't have. A lot of OSs don't usually carry a flashlight. And for the simple reason, because they're, you know what I'm saying, they're, they day man, they don't need flashlights. ABs usually always have a flashlight on them. One, always have a pocket knife. Two, never know when you're gonna need a pocket knife. Always keep gloves on you. You know, I don't work without gloves. You know, just for the simple fact, you never know what you can accidentally touch, then you touch your face, and then on accident, you know, it's just a lot of things. Just make sure you keep gloves. Keep different type of gloves. You know, you got your chemical gloves, your work gloves. Just keep gloves. And last but not least, channel locks. You know, it don't seem like, you know, it's nothing that you would normally think about, but keep channel locks on you. You never know when you're going to have to hurry up and tighten some up. You never know when, you know, somebody might need a hand doing this. And you, can you hold this boat from, keep channel locks on you. Sometimes the ship provides them but I got my own. Yeah, just, I think that's a good thing. Um, I think it's also good to have a headlight, um, you know, the ones to put on your helmet, because um, a lot of times ships pull in at night. Um, and let's just say it's really dark. You can have a headlight on. I seen that once, kind of a little, a little different because most time ships have their lights on, but I've seen it. But also, if you work on a tanker, it's better to use the headlight than to use an actual flashlight where you're holding the flashlight and then you need this, you know, you need to do something. And now you can't hold your flashlight because you got to do something, you know. So, headlight. But those are my big main things. Uh, I might make a second video because it is a lot. But definitely, uh, just be mindful. The big thing, you know, the main thing for this video, just know your shit. You know what I'm saying? Keep your books with you. If you don't know, go, you know, have something that you can reference to. I'm not on the ship right now. I didn't finish the ship, uh, finish this video on the ship because of uh, medical reasons. But that's for another video. But I do have more videos coming out. I thank y'all for tuning in. And please make sure you like and comment. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Got any questions, hit me up on IG. And I got you. See y'all later, man.